No, I don't care. Revoke their access. All of them, now. Lana, what's going on? Where are you? Lord Wrath, it's time. You must confront him. Our former Emperor, Vishad, he's... I don't care what they tell you. Assume they're lying and deal with them. He's here. Vishad's presence. Here on Zyast. He's taking over this outpost, controlling soldiers and Sith, using them to murder anyone he can. Hold them off. I'm on my way. Good, thank you. I'm sending coordinates. We'll hold this bunker as long as we can, but you must hurry or... Lana, can you read me? Lana! Zyost. I can feel your presence, Vitiate. Hello, my wrath. I foresaw your arrival, but I didn't quite believe it. I promised on the Yavin moon that I would devour you last, and yet here you are, so impatient. When you've lived as long as I have, patience comes far more easily. But that's neither here nor there, I must say. I'm glad you're here. You'll bear witness to a world's end if you survive long enough. He's gone. I can... I can finally... More of you already. I suppose I should be flattered. So you've arrived. Good. There's much to be done. Always nice to see a friendly face. I've missed you. I'm trying to avert a mass catastrophe while keeping the most powerful mind in the galaxy out of my head. I, I can't think about that. The Jedi you fought belong to the Sixth Line. SIS commandos who follow their own addendum to the Jedi Code, hence the name. There is no contemplation. There is only duty. A great point of view, so long as they're working for you. Pardon the interruption. I sent a probe droid to look into that crash shuttle, Minister Benico. It's empty. This is Agent Rain Kovach. He's been something of a rising star in Sith intelligence here on Zyost. I'd like to hear more about these Jedi. Do we know what they were up to here? You can thank our friend Theron Shan for that. The Sixth Line arrived when Vitiate started making moves. It's not clear yet how Agent Shan knew to send them, but we do know he's responsible. As you've witnessed, Vishit is taking hold of an increasing number of soldiers and Sith. His goal continues to be the accumulation of power. Agent. The dark side is strong on Zyast. Using the outpost's resources, our former Emperor can massacre the defenseless to fuel him. The more powerful he becomes, the more people he can control. He will keep on killing until nothing's left. Yes, I'm on my way. I need it everywhere, all at once. I've already lingered too long. Agent Kovach has a plan to help stem the bloodshed.
It's an honor, my lord. Here's what I have in mind. The outpost armory is wide open right now. It's where the possessed have been getting their firepower. It needs to be placed on lockdown. Fine. We've stood around long enough. I'll go out ahead. Be your eyes and ears. You sure cleared a path out there. That's good. But it's bad, too. Each time a pawn's killed, Vitiate gets a little bit stronger. Not as much as when they kill, but... Well, that's what Minister Benico says, anyway. So, we have to stop them without killing them. Or we destroy Vitiate. Not that anyone seems to know how to do that. Agent. Company. Almost there. Master Soro. Sixth Line Commander. I like this one. Strong-willed. Not that it will save her. Or anyone on this world. You would destroy the galaxy and the Empire along with it. I won't let that happen. You will never have the power to destroy me. Would you believe you could? It offends me. When this world turns to red, and you choke on torrents of blood, remember that this was your chance to flee. A chance I... gave! There is no... contemplation. There is only... Duty. We're wasting time here. The armory's safe. You go ahead. I'll be close behind. I can confirm it. The defenses are down. Between those weapons and the armory, a lot of the killing power is out of their hands now. Should be able to start evacuation efforts as well. The fewer potential targets on Zyast, the better. The Emperor's Wrath, here on Zyast. Now, what are the odds? I can't say I expected to find you here. You know this person? Theron Shan, SIS. Really? But if you came here to save your sixth line, you're too late. If you know what's going on here, Theron, then you know it has to stop. Let's work together. Sure. All we need to do is figure out how to knock out a guy no one can touch. So I take it you don't have any ideas. I do know we have to try something. That's about it. The way things are out there, I can't believe I even made it this far. As soon as I crash landed, the Emperor's puppet started coming for my shuttle, just like that. Maybe figured on some easy kills inside. They're the only thing I could think of. Rigged the ship to overload, fry everything in and around it. Tried to shield myself, but still scrambled half my implants. And that stopped the attack. They went down, yeah. Some of them got back up, but they seemed out of it. Not possessed. Dazed. Intrusion! Vitiate's pawns! I have a thought. Be ready for anything. That was a... a nightmare. What? It's you. My lord, I, I am... I don't know what to say. Leave. Now. You won't get a second chance. So now we know. Shock them unconscious and the tie is severed. For a while, at least. Hit enough of them hard enough and they'll be out for a good long while. Yeah, but how do we do that? I have some ideas. I need to consult the new Adasta municipal systems. You gonna need a hand with that? Some backup? No. I'll be in touch. Well, he seems confident. 
Is he any good? Lana vouches for him. Lana Benico, Minister of Sith Intelligence. Who'd have thought it, right? When I met her on Manan, she was in over her head. Seemed to be. She's come a long way since then. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I mean, what do I know, anyway? I should never have sent my team here. I made a bad situation worse, and now... And now I've got a priority holocall. Great. You've been busy, Agent Sean. Chancellor. An off-the-books mission to Zyost. A secret team of Jedi that... I don't even know where to start with you about them. Everything's happened so fast, you don't realize... No, I do realize. I realize that you declined to inform me of a prime opportunity to cripple the Empire and face the Emperor head-on. We're taking advantage of the chaos on Zyost, starting with New Adasta. I expect your cooperation. Wait, please, before you send the order. You don't seem to understand, Agent Sean. There's nothing to argue. Our ships are in orbit. The invasion's already begun. I tried to reach you, to tell you. This won't end well. The time for hand-wringing ended when you shut down the Orbital Defense Command Center, Agent. With respect, you haven't seen what I have on the ground. The power the Emperor holds. I'm aware, Agent. Now, if you have a report on Sith Intelligence or the SIS, we can talk. But you will not tell me how to fight a war. This is bad. That is one way of putting it. I take it you heard all that. Or enough of it. Lana holds you in such high esteem. Her rising star. But you're little more than a talking dung worm. I know it looks bad. Okay, it is bad. But listen, I have a plan to stall Vish's progress. At least for a while. It requires that we work together. Let me help you. This isn't over. No. No, I wouldn't think so. What was that thing? We've been calling them monoliths. I promise I wasn't eavesdropping, just wanted to warn you. We've seen several of those creatures appearing throughout New Adasta. They're made from Sith alchemy, a sign of Vitiate's growing power. Extremely strong, next to impossible to kill. The one you just defeated is the smallest we've come across. I think you were eavesdropping. I think you can't stop thinking about me. 
I would hope you're joking, except this is hardly the time for it. And by the way, do look behind you. Plan's over. Scrapped. Some giant thing tore through a junction. Caused an electrical surge. Dampeners are shot. There has to be another way. I thought about an electrical bombardment from space, but it would be incredibly imprecise. It would be as likely to kill a lot of people as anything. Besides, the two fleets have engaged each other. Maybe if we convince Suresh or Darth Maar to divert some forces... Urgent report. It won't work, Minister. I failed. I see. In that case, I suggest we find another way for you to be of assistance, Agent. Report to my location immediately. Yes, Minister. Thank you. Agent Covert will be made accountable for his incompetence. In the meantime, Vichet's pawns are still growing in number. I have a strategy to suggest. You may find it unpleasant. I'm listening. War has broken out across the globe. Our former Emperor, however, has limited his involvement to the area around New Adasta, near you. I don't think it's a coincidence. It's possible he isn't as strong as he's been letting on. It's possible he's worried about what you could do. Vichyad knows what I've done in his name. He's right to fear me. Good. I need you to maintain that confidence for what's to come. Get all of his pawns, every last soldier, Jedi and Sith, to stop their slaughter and chase you into the heart of New Adasta. You must make Vishyad want to kill you, now. You've made it. Good. Time is short. So is reliable assistance. I have Agent Kovac assembling a suppression team out of whatever droids he can find, so I approached another agent to assist us. Are you in position? Yeah, but this setup isn't anything like what you described. So what you're saying is you can't figure it out? Don't get all... I'll figure it out. We're about to begin, so that would be nice. What exactly are we about to begin, Lana? You're going to make Vishet angry. So angry that he'll place all his attention on killing you. When the time comes, you'll lead him to an electrostatic weapon stored here in the heart of New Adasta. It's meant to be a last resort against major civil uprisings, but Theron's modifying it to be non-lethal. With the reduced charge, its radius of impact will diminish. Fine. Let's get started. Yes, let's. Smug superiority. You hack away at the defenseless like a gleeful child. And here I stand, your own wrath in defiance of your plans, and you do nothing. Use whatever reason you want, but I know the truth. You are a coward. I think that did it. I have to go now. There's much to be done. Too much. I shouldn't have come here, truth be told. There's nothing wrong with wanting to see someone you've missed. Especially in times like these. If all this ever ends, maybe then.
You think I don't know what you're doing? Of course I know, my righteous wrath. I know everything. And I will enjoy watching you fail. Go ahead. Kill them. Kill the Jedi. If you let them live, they will just keep murdering in my name. Don't hesitate. Kill them. <laughs> I won't mind. And neither will your Republic friend. What are you doing? This is not the act of a proper Sith Lord! That's it. Got it set for as big a non-lethal burst as we can manage. Should be enough to zap anyone in range into a nice long involuntary nap. Should be. Hard to come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. A lot of guesswork involved. Wish there was some way we could do a test run. They've got to be closing in. Then come on, we need to be shielded. should wait until they're good and close. I came across two of your team, Theron. And? I gave them a shock. When I left, they were still out. Good, thanks. Let's just hope that they don't end up in the Emperor's control as soon as they wake up. Okay, here comes the Puppet Brigade. Fingers crossed. Closest, took the biggest hit. Still alive. We did it. Let's just hope we got all of them. We should call Lana now, see if she has a plan for what's next. I have a better idea. Master Suro. No. Watching you believe you had a chance. It's amused me. Now, this whole charade is pathetic. Now, how do you wish to die? In combat, or on your knees? Go away, little sip. This has nothing to do with your friends. This is you and I. I know you're in there, Jedi. Your body is yours to control. Take it from him. Your words are as desperate as they are useless. And they will be your last.
I saw it. I saw everything. Every life. Every life he took. I took. It's all I can see anymore. I'm a monster. It's not true. You'll be okay. I'll take you to Tython. The Jedi will help you restore your mind and make you whole again. And then she'll be no good to us. We need to understand the connection Bishop established with this Jedi so we can stop it or exploit it. Yeah, and let me guess. The process is invasive. Hasn't she been through enough? We've bought ourselves some time, that's all. We can't risk the fate of the galaxy just to assuage your guilt. You want to take her brain apart and you don't even know if you'll find anything. We have to try. He's never leaving. I'm going to hear him forever. The Jedi goes with Theron. You're joking. Tell me you're joking. You heard him. Come on. I'll get you shipped out of here as soon as I can. I suppose we can be grateful that we managed some manner of progress. You know... Vishad gave up on trying to take control of me some time ago. Perhaps he's not as powerful as we were led to believe. Still, he is more than formidable. We've only stopped him temporarily, and war still rages. We have much to do. Dathmar, you wanted a word. I couldn't make that out. Could you repeat? I'm curious. Do you really believe you've accomplished anything here? What do you think you've stopped? I know how powerful you've become. But if I do nothing, what good am I? Indeed. What good are you? It is a question I have asked myself, and have finally answered. I have decided that life is more interesting with you in it. If you wish to keep railing against me, then so be it. Your interference changes nothing. When I am finished here, when every life on this world has been exhausted, I want you to be alive, to know that I succeeded. Goodbye. I take it you've heard about Zyost. I saw it for myself. It was a blur. 
We tried to evacuate as many as we could. Considering so much was out of control, I'd say we did all right. But Vitiate is stronger now. Sith intelligence is in complete disarray. It's all coming apart. The weight of the Empire doesn't rest on your shoulders alone, Lana. I have to learn from this, from my mistakes, but I don't intend to wallow if that's your concern. When Darth Arcus first asked for my counsel, I considered turning him down. I wanted understanding, not a place in the power structure. But that's where I am. I don't take the responsibility lightly. Whatever comes my way, I will deal with it. I've seen what you're capable of. I know you won't disappoint. Thank you, my lord. Especially after Zyost. Putting an end to Vishit's threat feels like an impossible task. I don't believe it truly is impossible. Even if it were, we have to try. Is that optimism? It would appear so. Imagine that. Well, the Republic are licking their wounds, same as us. But they aren't relenting. And they're hardly our only concern. I suppose I should go about looking after the security of the Sith Empire. Unless there was anything else. Anything you need, Lana. Anything at all. Anything I need? That will do for now. Be well, my love. <laughs>